everyone welcome back to my channel i am super excited to see you again thank you so much for watching as always i'm so grateful that you have subscribed to my channel and that you are loving the content i am sharing if you're a new watcher please do click the subscribe and join the fam uh today's video is going to be a fashion haul and i'm super excited to bring you some of my favorite pieces that i have bought in a while so there's going to be bits from River Island, ASOS, The Frankie Shop, which is probably one of my favorites. And actually, while we're on the subject, this blazer is The Frankie Shop. And I'm going to show you a cutaway here so that you can see. I have had the matching pants to this blazer for, I would say, almost two years. And not that I wear them all the time, but because I have a lot of palazzo style pants or wide leg um, style pants. I just feel a million dollars when I wear these pants. There's something about the tailoring, the cut, the length, everything about them is just so perfect. And when I bought the pants, the blazer was actually out of stock. So recently it became available and I had to buy it. So again, I'm gonna show you a cutaway, but it's this kind of charcoal gray um, color. And I just think it is so Emily Raddick, Kowski, is that how you say or Rajakowski? I don't know about you, but I have been dying to get my hands on a Havre Studio suit or matching blazer and pants look, but it's literally just impossible. Um, so this I feel is the next best best thing and I feel very fairly priced because with a matching blazer and pants you can style it literally endlessly and they're the kind of thing that are never going to go out of style, like never ever 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 you can hold me to that. So I am just delighted to be able to wear this matching set and I feel like I actually got the blazer in a medium large, which is a little bit risque and brave, but I just love the oversized look and it means that it's long enough that I can wear it as a blazer or as a blazer dress with a belt, which I will also show you in a cutaway here. It's one of my favorite things to be able to wear at night because you could wear this with a tank, the pants and sneakers and go about your day and that night literally just take off the tank, the pants pop on a pair of heels and the belt and you are good to go and um, so it's the kind of thing that is just so versatile so let's go on maybe i'll stick with the frankie shop because we're on it already and um, i got another blazer because one cannot have enough blazers and i actually so I have one that's very similar to this and the same color from the Frankie shop. Um, and unfortunately, I think I might sell it because I got it in a small medium or an extra small small. And it's just not as oversized as I would like. And I just find myself, I, I'm always in a need of kind of a, this beige taupe color blazer but the one that i have i just never reach for it and i feel it's because it's just not oversized enough for me i like to be swimming in my stuff so i'm super comfy but this is the tansy oversized blazer in beige and while we're on it this is the notch lapel blazer in charcoal um so yeah i'm gonna show you here in a cutaway just how i would style it so that you can get an idea of different ways to style it. But again, when it's oversized, it means that you can wear it as a dress, you can wear it over leggings, you can wear it over pants, you can wear it with a skirt. Um, so many different ways of styling a blazer. And yeah, this definitely is just the perfect fit for me and the perfect style. I love it. So I'm gonna move on to the things I got from River Island. So just to let you know, these bits have been gifted by River Island. It's not sponsored by the video or anything. Um, I have worked alongside River Island before and they very kindly sometimes let me pick out a few bits that I love. So these picks, bits are picked by me. I have chosen the pieces and I am obsessed. So you all know, obviously, that there's like a bomber trend at the moment. I have been a fan of the bomber just for so many years. And this one is different to any of the ones I have because it is cropped and it is super, super thick. So I love that this I could wear with tracksuit bottoms to be super casual, or I love the way that I could style it with maybe um, legging pants and heels. 
for that more ghetto look on a night out maybe a little bit more fun with your girlfriends um but it's so so warm i love that it is this kind of beige tan color it's just perfect and yeah i'm super super excited to wear this a few times i love their river island are really subtle with their branding um, and their labels and i really like that so um the quality is just insane death by dior um i'm not sure why i have these here i was going to kind of try these on as i film but i always feel like there's just not enough space in this apartment and I just have to accept it. But soon, I'm moving to Lisbon in a few weeks and I have a room dedicated all for filming. So it'll be way easier to style and show you all my bits. Next up is this adorable cardigan. So I'm just so surprised at the quality of this. It is so, so soft, not itchy at all. My mom even said from a very, very young age that I would never, I would throw tantrums anytime she tried, tried to put like cardigans on me because I hated the like itchy feeling of it. It would just drive me mental. So I would not wear or let her put on a cardigan or an itchy jumper. Um, but this is super soft. So you don't have to worry about that. And I just love the little um, bubbles on it and these little embroidered flowers. It's almost like a bit of a granny vintage feel about it. So next up is this River Island top, a long sleeve top with a little bit of an opening um, in the chest area and this really nice little collar detail with the gold button. So this is just a perfect way. I'm really bad at buying tops because tops are kind of a bit of a the statement piece of an outfit i always lean toward getting essentials for my wardrobe and long lasting essentials so you'll see me shop way more for like pants and blazers and i'm really really bad at getting investing money in like a jazzy top to go with the pants so i just always feel like i have pants and then nothing else to wear with them and example here of me actually wearing a bra and um, because I have no tops to wear. That's it. I'm only joking. It's actually because I think this looks really nice and it's one of my favorite bras by Wacko. It's the um, strapless lace bra, which I just think looks super classy with this outfit but I do find myself that I don't have enough tops so I'm really delighted to have this kind of rustic brown and um, really warm color just to throw on with um, some palazzo, maybe cream color pants for a night out. Um, or you could also style it a little bit more casually, maybe with denim, but a really versatile color again. And then probably one of my favorites, I shared this in a reel last week, these um, palazzo pants. And they're in this just gorgeous, um, kind of chocolatey, beigey brown. And there's a little bit of a arrow detail in the front and this tie around the waist. And I'll show you here how I styled them. I just think brown and white is just one of my favorite combinations. And of course, a crisp white shirt with beautifully tailored pants. I always feel you need nothing else when you have that combination because it's just so perfect. Um, and then moving on to the shoes I got from River Island. So again, I will show you these on, but you can never go wrong with black mules. So these, I love the little kind of scrunchy detail. Um, there's a little bit of elastic here in these. I would definitely go size up with these. I got a size UK5, um, but I just feel like they could do with being a little bit more tight. Maybe I just have super narrow feet, but I would size down. Sorry, did I say size up? I would size, size down with these shoes, but I love these. Again, you can't go wrong with these kind of shoes. Under denim on a night out, under palazzo pants, and um, kitten heels with a little mini dress are super cute, and kitten heels as well with a midi skirt. So, um, moving on to probably my favorite are these white shoes. They're basically identical, but there's a higher heel, but it's a mid medium size heel, which I love because I'm terrible in heels. Um, and Connor basically won't let me wear them because I always just moan when I wear them. Um, with a gorgeous tie detail around the ankle. And then again, that um, elasticated scrunched up detail around the top of the foot, which is just, just really, really flattering. Um, I will show you again how I style them but I am really, really excited to wear these and I'm definitely gonna wear these with my new ASOS skirt, which 
I have been kind of trying to find something like this since uh, Pernille. I'm sure you all follow her on Instagram. I will put the photo here. She wore a white shirt, I think it was around December, with this Prada sparkly skirt. And then Lorna Lux, is it? Um, also wore the Paco Rabanne skirt recently um, when she was in Paris. I think it was like last week. And I just, I was like, okay, I need this. Looked at the Paco Urban one and it was like 900 and something or maybe just over a thousand euro. I was like, okay. Um, I like to act like I'm a millionaire, but that's a little bit out of reach. Um, so I searched and searched and searched and actually it was really hard to find, but eventually I found this jazzy number on ASOS and I think it was 59 euro can't go wrong so I am so excited to wear this I have a girly night next weekend which I am definitely gonna wear it too and um, so I will show you that on my Instagram um, and maybe style it for you here in the cutaway um, but other than that I got some lingerie which as well I will show you so I got this matching set um, from River Island as well Valentine's Day next week but I love that this and um, the lace um, in cream and then the black straps gives it more of a bralette kind of feel and I am all for a bralette under a blazer and just showing that little bit of lace can be super elegant and super sexy and um, without looking like uh, that kind of trashy look so I will sh I'm gonna be doing a reel actually tomorrow I'm gonna fill it film it so maybe actually it'll be up by the time I post this YouTube video so I'll put it in here but if it's not head over to my Instagram and you can see it there but this is so stunning on and the matching pants are super cute so I'm excited to wear that um and that is it. So I hope you enjoyed that little catch up, that little reel. And like I said, I am moving to Lisbon in less than four weeks. We have a two bedroom apartment and one of the rooms is all for YouTube, which I'm super excited about. Obviously, it, as well, it's going to be a spare bedroom for our guests, but it's also predominantly going to be my workspace Monday to Friday, well, Monday to Sunday, um, of filming fun content for you guys, yoga, manifesting, business, fashion, everything that I know you guys love. So please do comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see what you want more of, and I will do my best to get it to you soon. I... I'm so grateful for every single one of you following and watching these videos and I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a splurge on my latest pieces that I love for my closet. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you again next week.